Greetings, Wanderers. Here we are in Lost Light. Lost Light is more of a escape from Star <laughs> Escape from Tarkov made for the mobile devices by NetEase. And they ported it to PC and they done it very well. To be honest, this game is a pretty nice game for what it is. It offers a very casual experience with that similar Tarkov feel, so you get your PvP, you have the risk of losing everything, but you also can, can probably take it easy and only phase AI. It's still a difficult game and you, it, you lose all your loot if you die, but you do have insurance that will bring it back, and that's a pretty neat thing. As you can see right here, 20 to 40 minutes only cost me $52,000, and then if I want it quicker, 10 to 15 minutes, it's 79000 almost. But I'll pay because I got a lot of money. This game comes at level 9. You unlock the... The game comes with the black market. You unlock it at level 9, I should say. And if you go in through here, you may get lucky and get fully upgraded weapons. Sometimes you will find stuff that is just completely stripped of anything important. Like the MC1 here is pretty much the M14. And then your shear. There's a lot of weapons in here that you'll remember. That you're not you'll remember you'll recognize I'm sorry and right here is a hidden smuggling it refreshes every hour and you can find some ammo some weapons sometimes super upgraded see I wish I had this defender because it's suppressor but it is what it is and right here this upgrades as you level up or as you upgrade it right here in the top left of the screen uh, hey I got a power bank so I still need chargers and power banks to upgrade. Everything in here has its own requirements to upgrade. Right here's my weapon bench that I use to upgrade, not upgrade, to modify my weapons. I need two CPUs and let's check the black market. Two million dollars a piece. And how do I craft these? I have a workbench, so let's click that. I need to upgrade my workbench to level 3 and start crafting these things, which a smart speaker and a soldering iron is very hard to find in the world. You can find it, but it's hard to find. Uh, right here I could submit, oh, I can upgrade as soon as I finish my security, my safety systems. So everything's interconnected in this game and everything has a function with each other. It's pretty smart put together. Not many indie games can do that. Some indie games find it so hard to even make systems, you know, work okay with each other. Let's check this. All right, so I only need two hundred thousand dollars to upgrade my safety system, and I can upgrade my workbench. And my workbench is used to dismantling things, also for extra materials. What am I getting out of this? All right, so I I don't really need a lot of supplies. Not supplies, materials. I need scrap, and that's about it, because I have an excess of everything else. There is a player shop here. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go right here. <laughs> All right, I, it keeps defaulting to the clothing store, but right here is your shop. It's really just selling outfits to you. The pay to win is more uh, their premium membership. You can craft more at once. You get better repair stats, like so it doesn't damage your durability too hard. There, it's it's very lightly pay to win. It's better than a lot of other free to play games, to be honest. I don't see the purpose of my safety system. And then I can unlock a, a shooting range right here later on. I don't know what level that is, but I think that covers everything. Right here is ranked mode. I have to hit level 15 to unlock that. There is a story to the game and how everything started. Uh, we might watch that. I might throw that in the video. It, or I might have already done it, even though I'm talking about doing it now. <laughs> Health Center, you need to keep your eyes on your hydration and your energy. It's going to use a lot of my supplies, but it is what it is. I'll accept it. So let's do a quick run. No, no, I don't want to go to Mount Akiyama. I'm going to go to the factory. So I got a shotgun and a 50 round drum assault rifle. Let's go. Turn the 
时间的废墟上，那些咆哮的弹壳和焚烧的残垣，现在已冷却熄灭。支离破碎的天空，被硝烟纠缠着，但我们至少能看见这一切。大声响起，绿色的烟雾腾升，陆地和空气不再属于人类。我们被迫躲入避难所，深入地下，遗弃了灵魂和感官。林中呼啸的，除了风声。还有无数受难者的地狱。Here we are in the world. All right.、Uh, that's, I think that's a little bit too loud. There we go. Hopefully, the game is not too loud, so I can talk. So this is the factory. Factory, taking the same idea as Tarkov. You gotta be careful if you hear anything, anybody running, any shooting, because other players will be in here, and as well as the AI, PVP, VE, no matter what. And this is like the casual mode too. We're not playing ranked. So I have new shotgun rounds. Hopefully they're better than the slugs. So I'm checking bags. I know this is scrap right here. Oh, I can use. I don't need the utility. Actually, no, I don't. Not anymore. I'll never need that. That's an item I can craft. Also, I don't have the key to the door. I don't see anybody down there. Try to close the door just in case someone else runs by. And I have a key to open this. I had it in my secure case. I mean, you have a case exactly like Tarkov. Now here's money. All this stuff I can sell. A million dollars right there. Is that was that a million or a hundred thousand? Okay, a hundred thousand. I started, got kind of excited. Ah, oh, there's another hundred thousand, and I got food and water, so I could, in theory, be running around forever. So I need to go downstairs. My goal is to walk through to these windows and check over on the other side. I don't grab stuff I don't need or that I think I won't need. I want to get down in there. Gotta make sure no one's running around yet. Ooh, <laughs>、uh, kind of made my heart race. So I could just drop in there, okay? You know what? I'm not gonna throw a grenade. I'm gonna be quiet about this. And just drop down. Okay, I didn't break my ankles either. Oh, what? A leopard? I've never seen that before. I've never seen a, what? I never seen a leopard. I didn't know that was a weapon.、Oh, I already have. I, I already have two defender magazines. I don't need a third. It's not going to be a mainstay. I'm using the defender now. Oh. Oh, okay, I needed to come down here in the underground to get my scrap. I would be very upset if there was a、uh, someone in this room already. There's someone up there. There we go. I think I'm home free. Someone's coming. Drop my. Slug rounds to make room 
for this Mosin. Ooh! Get fucked stupid. Uh, I guess there was no one over there. So now I'm gonna try to get out of here because I'm pushing it. Someone's coming. Someone's on her tail. Kill him. Oh my god, really? Oh, I'm about to die. Oh. Nah. Uh, the pressure. I don't think there's anybody here. Thankfully. That was a very sketchy run. I don't know why the game only lets me come out of here. Alright, so now that I'm home base, I'm going to try to upgrade that leopard. Because that leopard looks sick. Uh, I should actually go ahead and uh, upgrade storage if possible. Let's go search. Oh, shit, I, I didn't mean to search. I meant utility knife workbench dang it I could have collected the utility knife I'm stupid let's go what am I doing here I don't know what I'm doing all right no okay I remember now charging cable workbench ah I need a quite a few things to craft charging cable all right, so I'm kind of stuck here, okay. Let's go over here and start upgrading. Um, defender, I need the leopard. Yes, the leopard. Check out the receiver. Oh, okay. Looks like well, it's gonna be one of those ones where I'm gonna have to just level up myself. That's level 42. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I got scared. didn't think I was going to be able to buy that. So I got a hand guard. So I, the foregrip, I got a few foregrips. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Doesn't look like I'll be able to get a better barrel. But here's a quick and fast way to skipping having to level up. You just keep searching the the market or the auction house. Now check out the stock. I think I have the stock on a different weapon. So it, in theory it wouldn't be that hard to get. Ah, here we go. I'm going to turn myself into a beast. Ah, I should check magazines. I can't, I can't run this weapon if I don't have the right magazines. Alright, so I only have one magazine for that, so I'm not going to use it. But I feel like I'm gonna switch out the shotgun and run the uh, run through Mount Akiyama just to show you guys just what a big map looks like. This game's pretty fun. Maybe keep that there. Now I gotta find the Mosin magazine. Oh crap! I don't have room. All right. <laughs> I totally forgot I completely bought all new ammo for the shotgun. And I'm just going to use this backpack, fill it all the way up. Let's see. Doesn't see. Uh, I do need the hammer, actually. What is this, too? Oh, that's the MIC 700. I'll use that. Perfect. See, this is the struggle with a big inventory. You're spending a lot of time in these menus. Like, that was my issue with uh, Tarkov. Is I was always spending time in my menu just, just trying to figure it out. So I'm going to Windswept Harbor. Uh, not Windswept Harbor, Mount Akiyama. So i got to figure out what key would be best to take. A 
lockbox and the hanger. So I think the cable car is the safest. No, Lake House is the safest. Check my health. I guess I will sell that. I don't need to scrap at this point in time. I'm more worried about getting out there and getting some loot. So now we're ready for our next run. And uh, we're going to go prepare for ops. I don't think I have any new pieces of uh, equipment. Yep, so I don't have to worry about insurance. But we're going to click this to go to Mount Akiyama. Alright, heal and enter. Alright. Alright, Wanderers. All right, so we're in Mount Akiyama. Oh. oh, okay, so I'm right by the villa. So I could go check out the villa, actually, because I got a Mosin. Right here is an exit I don't have access to, and the tallest point in the map is up here. You always want to be careful of this, because this, this is a good spot if you have a sniper and a good scope. I missed. And I, so I'm going to actually leave. I'm going to circle around and run down into the villa. Because that's where I'm going to get all my loot. And potentially get in a firefight. This is the map that I always am guaranteed at least one other player encountering me. I don't encounter them. <laughs> I'm more focused on keeping an eye out. Shit. Did he see me? There we go. So I'm going to have to go down there in the hangar pretty quickly. Because it's on the map. It's going, Well, not on the map, but if another player's in the area, it's going to tell them, yep. It's going to tell them that <laughs> I'm shooting and where. So what I'm going to do is charge right into this villa and go up here in this room. It's a really good spot because you have a couple angles to get out. You can shoot out the window, you can go down the stairs, you can get on the roof and just hope another player isn't staring at the building at that moment. I don't like how the fog is uh, very close. But I mean, <laughs> if you gave, a total, like, if you unfog the map, there's going to be a lot of people sniping each other across map. Jesus Christ. So this is the other firefly. He got me pretty good. Alright, so I'm up where I wanted to be anyways. Power bank. Another player's coming. He has a hack. He's shooting at me. Fuck. <laughs> I'm being chased out by another player, I know that. I did, I think. I don't know if he's hacking, but it was weird. So I'm here for the lake house. I need all the copper wiring. I got some money out of it, at least. So where was he shooting at? Or where was he shooting from, I mean? Oh shoot, I didn't mean, I, I thought it was Daisy. I can hit middle mouse button to zoom. No one's running along after me. So was that just a bot that just happened to see through that point in the wall? I should get back against the wall. So I can get to the lake house. Alright, there's one person over here. Oh, never mind. It's not a person. So I don't... Are they ever... What was that, man? Did I, did I chicken out? Did I immediately go to plan A? when I should have just went plan C and stuck around to see what was up.
I have a feeling as soon as these things start dying, I'll know where the player is. Because they're all right here. I could start taking them out. Shit. You spotted me, man. Fucking roaming AI. You bastard. That's bullshit, man. I should have been ready. I should have been more ready. But now I can get some wires. I don't need fuel at all. Another firefly in the op? Damn. No good gear. This sucks. This is a negative operation. But where'd the firefly enter the op at? I'm assuming over there by the golf course. Because I spawned Villa. Someone else spawned Villa and they died. Look at how stupid the AI is. Sometimes the AI will get you on a good one. So I can't call all AI stupid. You'll be surprised. So I try not to kill everything either if I have an open space. Because if I kill everything, it's obvious that something ran through. And that's like less uh, telling if a player... It's like putting uh, cans on a string at your perimeter. It's kind of like that. That's what I kind of use AI for. Oh, that was embarrassing. Anything up here? Ugh, I needed the villa because I had the power banks and the charging cords. I'm checking out bomb, uh, what is it? Bomb shelter. I forgot the term because someone decided to call me as I'm recording. Another player. Buddy. <laughs> Damn it. So that was me completely missing my shot. Ah, uh, I waited too long. And I think he's gone now too. Uh, it was kind of cheap of me to sit on that spot. Oh, yeah. All right, he's gone. <laughs> well, Rift completely screwed over himself. Wait, is he back in the corner? Where is he? This is weird. What? Is the game bugging because he exited too? And just like that, Wanders, we are back home. And the cycle starts again. I extracted safely, and now I'm home to relax, repair, modify, and sell. That's a, a few things you can do to pass the time in this game. And... If you want to see me do some ranked mode, I will do some ranked mode. Just leave a like below to let me know if you are interested. And sorry for the mic quality at this last little portion. Uh, get having some little interference. I don't know why, but it started as soon as I hit the record button again. Anyways, have a good evening, everyone. Relax by the campfire. Have a cigarette. Have a drink. And relax. Check your magazines and water before you head out into the zone and stay safe out there, everybody. I'm out of here.